Jojo, let's start with Charlton stuff. Three wins on the bounce, three clean sheets in four. It must feel pretty good being Charlton's number one at the moment. Yeah, um, I think it's long overdue. Uh, I think for the Exeter game, I think we're just all a bit frustrated with the way results went. Um, I think the lads knew that it was coming, uh, but now we've got this form going, we just want to take it into Tuesday and continue it for, for as long as we can. Before we got that, that first win again, the Exeter game, we had the clean sheet up at Lincoln. How pleasing was that for you, as a, not just you as a goalkeeper, but a defensive unit? Yeah, I think defensively, a clean sheet is always the foundation. I think if you don't let the other team score, then you're increasing your likelihood to, uh, to win the game. So, yeah, it's always nice to get a clean sheet. It's a bonus, but ideally we want to win the game and get three points. And in the last few games, it's been a very settled back five, hasn't it, including you. How much of a difference does that make? Um, it, it does make a difference, but I think all the lads just, everyone knows what their jobs are. And I think if everyone's consistent and everyone does their jobs right, it makes it a lot easier for everyone collectively. Um, so no, yeah, it has made a difference, but we just look to keep building. And up next, MK Dons, a side who did brilliantly last year, but are really struggling this year. I mean, how do we, how do we prepare for that one? And given the form we're in, does sort of the, our mentality become more important? I think we prefer, we prepare for it like every other game. We, I think in this league, it's quite difficult against anything because you never know, like someone might turn up on a day. And so um, I think we just have to treat it like every other game. Um, not get complacent with ourselves just because we've won a few games. Um, so yeah, I'm sure the lads will be ready. MK Tuesday, as we say, then Ipswich on Saturday, and then our league campaign sort of winds down a little bit, but your football campaign then ramps up even more. We've got the World Cup to come with Ghana. How much are you looking forward to that? Well, I'm focusing on the games coming up first. Um, I'll worry about that after. Um, yeah, we know Saturday is a big game against Ipswich, but after that, it's the two cup games from Brighton and then Colville. So yeah, we just take it one game at a time, concentrate on those first and then we'll see what happens after. I'll take your word for it in that you are uh, concentrating on these games first, but how difficult is it to try and not think about the World Cup at the moment? Um, it's there in the back of my mind, but I mean, I'm just focused on the upcoming games. I don't look too far ahead. Um, just have to wait until the time comes and then I deal with that hurdle. I'm going to ask you one more question about the World Cup though, but uh, a tough group for Ghana, South Korea, Portugal um, and Uruguay, which has added significance. Um, although you're not thinking about it, you must be looking forward to it. Yeah, um, I mean, when the time gets closer, I'll make sure my preparations are, are ready for that first game. So yeah, I do look forward to it. And just lastly on the World Cup, um, it's obviously going to be a very proud moment for you when you just set off camera, your family are going to be, be out there as well. Um, and great for us as well as, um, as a club in Charlton in having a representative out there. Um, it's obviously going to be a proud time for you. Yeah, definitely. Um, I still pinch myself even thinking about it. I said it uh, in my first interview, but something you've always dreamed of when you're a little kid. So to go and actually live that dream is I mean, I'm just gonna have to go there and just live, be in the moment and just just let everything take its natural course. No more questions about the World Cup and all the best against MK Dons. Thank you.